Okay, made it to the trailhead a little, little after six, and we're looking at uh, six degrees out. Should warm up nicely and be a good day. Okay, it's uh, 6.20 in the morning, March 5th, yeah. and uh, we're making the walk from the parking lot up to the Osceola Club on the agenda today is uh, Colvin and Blake. 84. How normally feel. <laughs> we'll see. Okay, just signed in at the register. Starting the walk out on Lake Road, right behind this gate here. And uh, I think it's a mile and a half, two miles before I hit Gilbrook Trail. Where well, we did the Lake Road, came up from that way, and now we're heading up Gilbrook Trail. I think it's my mile and a half to the split. Hiking along Gilbert Trail. We're a couple miles in. Getting some elevation along the brook. Trying to take it easy. The real climbs ahead of us. Micro spikes for now. This trail's hard. This trail's hard packed. A little, uh, little further to go to get to the split, but uh, the sun came out over Nipple Top Range, so we got a little sun hitting us now, which is very nice. A little sun on the trail, brightening the spirits a little bit. Yeehaw! <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good <sighs> Getting some elevation now. Snow in the trees. Okay, so getting up there. Can't believe I haven't got to the intersection yet. I'm ready for that. I'll tell you. I'm gonna stop and hydrate and eat. Really, really close though. We're there. Something tells me that sign is not down in the snow yeah. in the summertime, down at the ground level. Okay, we're gonna stop here. Last year, Mark, Mark, Mike and I went that way to Nipple Top and Dial, and Kathy and her friend went this way to Colvin and Blake, which is the way Mark and I will be going right now. Yeah. Our drink, we got our food, got the snowshoes on, snowshoes, ready to go get Colvin in 1.1 miles. On our way up Colvin, wind is starting to pick up, probably going to add a layer before long. Very pretty through here. Welcome to the summit of Colvin. Arrived here about 9.40 a.m. So what's that? Uh, Three hours on the trail, so I just uh, that's about 360. So starting here, that's uh, that's a nipple top directly there. In the background, that's giant, probably Rocky Peak Ridge. Right between these two trees is the uh, is the Wolf Jaws, and behind this tree is is Gothics. And over here, we've got uh, Saddleback and uh, and Haystack. the ridge over to Colvin. Still stunningly gorgeous. And we've had some nice 
you know, it's basically a ridge, so we get some views now and then. It's kind of bigger trees now, ice on the trees. Definitely some fresh snow on the ground from overnight. Stumble. Approaching the summit of Blake Mountain, right around here somewhere. We're, I think this is it. This is where all the snowshoe tracks start, stop rather. It's a tree summit with 360 views of trees, and it's not even 4,000 feet. And that's why people hate it. <laughs> it was a hell of a climb up. Yeah, it was. We dropped our bags about four tenths of a mile back. And it's a good thing because it was straight up. Yeah, it was. So now all we do is butt slide down to the packs and climb back up Colvin. <laughs> Yay. That's our reward. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what this says. Colvin. Here it is. Okay. Colvin, noon, took uh, almost an hour to get back here. And uh, let me switch the camera around because they talked about coming in from the north. Isn't that quite clear? There's some clouds, yeah. So uh, there's Osable Lake and Indian Head, the rock outcropping to the right. And that valley is the valley we came in on, that's Lake Road. And uh, again, over there, past Mark is Nipple Top. And uh, to the right is uh, of this view is Lower Great Range and the rest of the Great Range there. Out there, a little butt sliding video. Let's hope I don't lose my phone or my glove or anything. This one, just a cliff alongside the trail. Just a little more hiking video going down. Much more enjoyable than going up. Colvin and Blake done for the day. Now it's down to the junction and some more butt sliding down to Lake Road. Just gorgeous. Still high enough that all the ice and snow is still frozen in the trees. We're about 3,500 feet here. Okay. Video and then. Uh, Next time we'll be out at Lake Road. There, that was pretty tame. And fast forward, come out into Lake Road. So, there. That's the way back up to Osable Lake. And we're gonna send it this way, back out to the gate. Two, two and a half miles. That's it. All signed out at the trailhead. Now we just make our way back to the parking lot and another High Peaks adventure is complete. Hope you enjoyed the video.